How to add printer to computer. Now adding a printer to your computer enables you to print documents and images directly from your digital files, creating hard copies for various purposes. Now if you want to know how to add your printer to your PC, then this is how you are going to do it. So the first thing that we are going to do is identify the brand and the model of our printer. So for example, in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and look for this one here. This is actually my uh, printer. So this is Epson L3120. I'm just going to go ahead and look for that in Google. So I'm just going to go ahead and type the brand, the model, and then the driver for this one. So after doing so, you should see something like this. Again, this is from the official site. And I'm going to go ahead and click this one here. Now. You can confirm that this is your model. This is a picture of the printer in here. Now, once you're done, just go ahead and scroll down here and click this one. Now, you're going to go ahead and choose the operating system of your PC. So, for example, in my case, it's Windows 10, 64-bit. I'm going to click this one, click Go. And then scroll down once again, and you should be seeing this one here drivers and utilities combo package installer now you can use this one and i think this is going to be a recommended one for you so just go ahead and click this one once you're done with that go ahead and click that now before proceeding there's another thing that we should do you're going to go ahead and turn on your printer and then connect the usb to your pc or to your laptop after doing so you're going to go ahead and click the ok button in here and then something like this should pop up. Don't worry, it is actually very much normal. So from this point forward, just go ahead and accept or click next and just do the following in here. So here, for example, it says that make sure the printer is turned on and then have you finished filling all the ink tanks. So you have to make sure that you have done this one. After doing so, just go ahead and click this one and then click next. So this is actually going to take a while, but basically from this point forward, all you have to do really is just click the next or continue button. Now, in my case, I have not connected my printer yet, so it's not going to go through. However, that is basically the entire step there is. Now, if you think this video has been helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like as it is going to help us a lot.